From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Particularly well suited to adverse weather and remote ground conditions, the SHIP Heavy Duty Vehicle provides an efficient mode of transport when access to remote areas is required, either for exploration, humanitarian or search and rescue needs. Journalist Simone Litka attended a live demonstration of the vehicle and gives us a bit more insights. Manufacturer DCD Protected Mobility, which specializes in detection and systems, has partnered with an off-road capability manufacturer to bring the SHIP vehicle to the African continent and to promote its use. DCD General Manager Cornelius Grundling tells us a bit more about the partnership. DCD is a defense company. Uh, DCD is over 100 years old, was established in 1898. Um, our, we're in the business of saving lives and uh, there's a good match between what SHERP International can provide, the capability of the vehicle and what our products provide saving lives. And that for us there's a good fit in the African market for that. A SHERP International sales team member further elaborates on some of the special features. First, it's, uh, the SHERP doesn't depend on the better conditions. If you compare with the helicopter, the strong winds, or any other tough weather conditions uh, for the sharp, it doesn't do matter. So the sharp able to 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 run to take people uh, to the remotest areas or uh, uh, do evacuation of people from also remotest hard to reach areas. And uh, the second most important is uh, fuel efficiency. So the cost cost saving. So the fuel consumption of the sharp is only 5-6 liters of diesel per one working hour. So it's, uh, it's very good for cost saving if we compare with the helicopters. Huge prices for rental or for fuel. The vehicle is also currently deployed as part of the UN's World Food Programme, but Grundling explores this further. Currently um, the United Nations have, have, uh, have bought a couple of units. Um, just recently they've delivered 20 more units to the United Nations and that's for the food program. They've got vehicles in South Sudan, Uganda, they've got vehicles in the DRC, they've got vehicles in um, Mozambique currently operating. So uh, we, we are with the, if you look at the capability of this vehicle, we are, we are trying to expand it into Africa. Talking of expansion, our SHERP representative tells us how the vehicle can be adapted to the mining industry specifically. Yes, actually the company is flexible and open-minded, so uh, we're looking for the needings of uh, any of our, our customers. So our R&D department working hard on the, uh, making some uh, like, uh, equipment for mining industry, but first of all I think this would be better and the best solution for uh, uh, emergency and uh, rescue operations and open cast mining or uh, other types of mining. So to get the, the location where the people were injured so fast and uh, overcome any obstacles to, to save their lives. For mining industry it's also good for exploration and uh, working of geologists to explore new areas uh, to go in the remotest areas uh, not like discovered before. So the vehicle capability offered to the operators to go just straight and choose direction and uh, have no, any pro no problems to, to get the direction and uh, the place. Funding, however, is often a challenge, but DCD has a solution on offer. Firstly, DCD has got a, a partner that we work with that can provide financing and that all depends uh, from country to country um, if they can afford it. Um, but yes, we've got a funding model um, and we're working with local partners that we can provide financing should it be a requirement from a specific country. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.